it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. That's gonna date this video, isn't it? So the last video on bangers and smash was some test footage of a Nikkor 55 millimeter f1.2 that I picked up in Tokyo. And I was testing that out on the Canon R5, which I'm filming this with. However, on my last trip to Tokyo back in October, I actually took my Red Komodo with me to film some kind of travel footage and do a couple of tests with that camera. So I thought rather than waste that footage and do nothing with it, I'll upload it to YouTube and then you fine people can check it out and leave some comments down below. And I thought it would be good to upload the red footage so that there's a bit of a comparison against that last video and this one. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out, it's on the channel. The red footage is a little bit quicker cut together, so we'll dive into that quickly, I won't keep you long. I'm sure that's why you clicked on this video, not to look at my hairy face. So from my perspective, I prefer the red footage. It just has a certain look to it, a little bit of Je ne sais quoi, if you will. That being said, for trips, I actually really like the R5. I can just pick it up, stick a, an external microphone on it and go. A couple of little batteries with me. It's got the screen on it. Uh, the autofocus is amazing. Whereas the red, I need to take a separate battery charger. I need to take a couple of BP batteries at a minimum and they do drain pretty quick. Not that quick for a cinema camera, but compared to the R5 where two batteries will last me the whole day, the Red Komodo, I tended to find on a trip, I would be running out of battery juice pretty quick. Part of the reason for that is the startup time for the Red Komodo is just too long. So you want to keep the camera on and you end up draining the batteries, but you're worried you'll miss a shot or you don't want to sit around for one minute before you, you start to film something. So yeah, run and gun. I really like the R5, but don't discount the Red Komodo as a travel camera. It's actually pretty versatile and I've taken it on a couple of trips with me so far, uh, Bali and uh, Tokyo, and it's been very good, particularly with the Hasselblad Finder using the Viper Gears adapter. And Viper Gears also do a couple of little attachments you can screw in the side, little lugs for Hasselblad straps, which I found to be very useful. So it lets me keep it probably just as light as the Canon R5, the biggest problem for me with the, the Komodo as a travel camera, especially now I'm trying to make more YouTube videos, is the screen. The, the Canon R5, you just flip the screen out, you film yourself, the autofocus does all the hard work and job's done. Whereas on the red, yeah, you can use your phone, but then you're kind of holding two things up at your face and it just doesn't work for me. And adding a monitor on top plus a battery for that is another thing to charge, another, yeah. It's just another thing to charge and I just really can't be bothered lugging an awful lot of electronic equipment around with me, especially somewhere like Japan where the voltage is pretty low and it seems like batteries take about a year to charge up. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get to the, the footage. Let me know what you think of it in the comment. If you've seen the previous video with the Canon R5, how do you find the differences between them? Do you think the extra cost and the extra hassle of the Komodo footage is worth it?
Oh, if you've got this far into the video, why don't you just subscribe? Thanks for watching. Bye bye.